Okay, let's talk about my classroom. This is uh, my classroom. This is 203. Uh, let me switch to the other side here. Bottom left, there we go. I'm a little bit more out of the way there. Uh, oh, I didn't switch, did I? There we go, now I switched. Uh, I need to be a little smaller, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, so those black tables are your tables. Um, I'm back in the corner under the TV. Um, the table with the brown chair right here is in general mine. That's my workstation right there so that while I'm teaching and presenting that's what I'm logged on to. Those black tables are yours and when you come into the class the blue chairs will be where I want you to sit. I don't want you to move them. What's that mean? It means if I don't want to use this table today there won't be any blue chairs there. If I want you to use that table today, there will be a blue chair there, and there will be the number of chairs that there are kids in the class. If COVID-19 is still going on, there will only be one student to a chair, or to a, obviously to a chair, uh, to a table if at all possible, and you can in fact see um, antibiotic right there inside the room. I expect you to walk in my room and go whoosh, and do this as you sit down, okay, if COVID-19 is still going on. Uh, I will have this other table over here cleaned off so that there's only one person at that table. If we have more kids, um, students, young adults, you will be sitting catty corner so that you're not even looking at someone across the table. You won't be next to each other. You won't be across from each other in my room. So um, anyways, that's 203. That's where you're, this is the door as you come into my classroom. Again, look where the booth chair is and don't move them. Uh, and if, by the way, I didn't say this, uh, I want you to sit in a specific seat for some reason. We're doing a project, whatever. Uh, there will be name cards on the tables, and in that case, I want you to sit there uh, where your stuff is. Stuff always goes underneath the table, not on top, um, so that we can pull out computers. Obviously, your laptop can be pulled out, and we'll talk about that. I'll have something on the board uh, when you come in if I don't want you to put your laptops out. Oh, and by the way, in these buckets right here, our chargers, they're already plugged in. All you have to do is pull out a cord and plug in your laptop. I expect you to leave 203 with a full charge, um, regardless of what we did in class that day. So, uh, oh, I already said all this. Good for me. The one over here is my table. Uh, there won't be any blue chairs there. This is a picture that I did in the summer, not during class. Um, and I already said all that. Student chairs will be where I want them to sit. Uh, and if I want um, a specific person in a specific spot, maybe I'm grouping you or something, then there'll be name cards uh, down that I've made up as well. Uh, my desk is no man's land. I don't want anyone to set their stuff on my table in front of there, um, especially with COVID-19. And even before that, um, your stuff doesn't go where my stuff is, and you don't ever belong behind my desk or touching my, any of my keyboards, my mouse. I'm logged into stuff. If you hit delete, if you don't know this, on a network drive, um, it's just deleted. There's no recycle bin. Uh, I have to do a whole recovery process. You don't know what I'm, uh, what I have underneath my mouse, my cursor, whatever, um, in my class. I just want to make sure you don't touch my mouse, you don't touch my projector, you don't touch my keyboard. Uh, those things get me very upset. Um, and you don't ever come behind my desk area at all back in there. So that's, that's my only no-no. By the way, I'm on my third chair because uh, substitutes or students, I don't even know, have broken them while I've been gone when I used to be out all the time on, on Air Force Reserve stuff, which I barely miss anything anymore in comparison. I will miss a couple days. Anyways, so that's that. Uh, I have closets. Uh, this is the entry door over here where, the, where you see the ladder at. Those are all parts closets. Uh, and I keep all the parts there. So those are parts for the school, they're parts for you if you need them when we are doing projects. Uh, everything is in buckets and everything is labeled. And if there's no label, it means the last person put the bucket in backwards. So if you're like, where's that? And you see things without labels, usually if you pull it up and turn it around, you'll be able to find those things. So almost everything has a home. I said almost everything should. Uh, and I expect you guys, when you're doing work, to put those parts away. Whether you're in my advanced tech class or my hardware class, uh, we need to make sure stuff's put away. But those are the parts closets. By the way, I number them in my mind and telling you right now, from left to right, the way we read. So if I say it's behind door number one, two, three, there's six doors, I generally know, uh, for instance, door number three on the top shelf has the LCD cleaning wipes. I 
can see them right there. That's what this is. This would be door number one, two, three, four. Uh, five and six have mostly stuff you don't use. Uh, I was going to say junk, it's not all junk. But anyway, um, so I, I might be a shelf off if I say, hey, get a USB cable. It's behind door number one. I think it's on shelf number two. I count from the top down and from the left over, just so you know when I'm telling somebody where something is. But those are the, what I call the parts closets. We also have um, my back closet, 203 closet. Um, this is two pictures, by the way, that looks kind of crazy. But um, all the spare parts for the laptops that are over in uh, the middle school are in, in um, that. I also have a sink, you can see with the big orange arrow, with detergent and paper towels. Anytime you're out doing something, if you want to come in, you just need to ask. You don't need to go down to the bathroom at the end of the hall to wash your hands. If you've been outside the room and you want to get a good 20 second wash on your hand, just say, hey, Mr. Polk, can I go use your sink? I've got to say yes. Uh, if you do go in there, please don't touch anything other than what you're going in there to use, uh, i.e. the sink. So 203 Closet is kind of out of bounds for hardware students, unless uh, there's some reason that I'm putting you in there. Oh man, my picture is really low on that one, isn't it? Do, do, do. I didn't even notice I was so low. Why am I so low? Oh, I don't even have... Oh, well, you know what? I won't worry about it now. That's just craziness. I'm going to switch over to the right because it looks better because I don't look like I'm down in a sunken hole. Okay, back to where we were. So, uh, anytime we leave 203, remember you represent this class in our program. Uh, in hardware, we don't leave, leave room, the room a lot. Uh, in advanced technologies, we do leave the room a lot. Uh, we do leave it sometimes. We're going to go over the labs and do some work on computers and PCs over there. Uh, we're going to be going to 209 and 204 to get parts and stuff. Uh, but the big thing is, when you walk out of the room, you're part of the class. Do not look in or disturb other classes. Don't make noise in the hall. Don't divert or delay in other locations. Boom, caveat. If um, I ask you to go down to the middle school um, lab at 412, we're going to go down there, we're going to do a project, and we're done, and we're all coming back. Um, diverting to a bathroom along your path is not a diversion in this definition. Okay, so if you've got to go to the bathroom, you're walking by a bathroom, go to the bathroom. Um, don't go to the gym and play basketball. That's not, you should either be where you were in my room or along the line in between those. So don't divert to other locations. Come back whenever what you're doing is done. Okay, so that is um, the end of the class tour. I don't have any pictures of two on on closet and quite honestly, at this point, you guys won't be going in there as hardware students. Only uh, the tech kids will be going into the 209 closet that's across the hall in Mr. Wendell's room.